Good morning. Today is Monday, April the 17th. I will be leaving Mojave County Fairgrounds Campground today and Kingman. If you haven't seen that video, look up, look it up. It was the last one. I'll try and remember to post it. And Snickers and I are headed to Williams, Arizona, the gateway to the Grand Canyon. I won't be going to the Grand Canyon this time. I've been there a couple years ago. But uh, I hope to cruise around Williams and see what's there as part of the Route 6640 travel. All righty. Stay tuned. Here we go. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I am a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer, Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. and I made it to the Grand Canyon Gateway RV Park in Williams. I took a little drive through town. I've been here before but I wanted to drive through and do a little video on my dash cam of it and had to come back a little ways to the RV park. There's a Love's gas station across the road but I don't really hear any truck sounds and the um, reviews I Red said that they didn't hear much truck sound, so that's good. It's a nice place to camp. I will um, do a little uh, tour a little later. But we have arrived, and we're having some lunch. And then I'm going to look up some dog-friendly restaurants and maybe go out to dinner in Williams tonight. So follow along. The cost of this campground is about $50 a night, and I got my AARP discount, which basically covered the taxes. <laughs> so my total was like $103 for two nights. 
Gotta splurge once in a while. I'll be boondocking in the future. I want to warn people of the road 40, Highway 40, between Kingman and Williams. There are so many potholes, especially in the right hand lane. Luckily, when I called the campground this morning just to ask if I could come a little early, the woman said, be careful of the potholes in the right hand lane. And she was right. I tried dodging a few potholes, and when I could, I went to the left-hand lane. And some potholes were in the left-hand lane also. There were a few crews out there working on it, but it's going to take them a long time to get that all smoothed out. The road reminded me of the roads we had uh, and took in Mexico. They were really bad. Here's my hookups at number four. I've got water, sewer, and electric. And there's very good Wi Fi. I'm able to stream. The sites are long. I guess if you had a really long rig, you'd have to uh, pull in. The way they have me pull in was forward, but not all the way forward because another camper could back into there and I had to put my car over here on the side of my RV. Right there. Pretty windy today and it's going to be windier tomorrow. So I'm not putting any awnings out today. Now my neighbors went to the motor home and the car on the trailer and they took up a whole spot. I don't know if they're charged a double or not. Other tow vehicles are parked over here, and I'm sure if my car didn't fit, that's where I'd be parking my car. Love's truck stop is right across the road, so there may be some truck noise. There's my little site, and you can see there's quite a few sites here. I know they have some uh, trailers to rent, and they have cabins to rent as well. This is the Canyon Gateway RV Park. Now yeah, that's Highway 40 and it turns off and goes into Williams on the other side. And then there's Highway 40 going east. I'll be taking that road in a couple of days. I'm gonna hang around Williams for a day or two. Snickers and I went to the Frontier Restaurant. It's a western style restaurant right as you come into Williams. Snickers got to take pictures with a stagecoach and with Bigfoot. He barked at that at first when he first saw it. Here's my dinner. Here's my dinner. Fried pickles chili with cornbread and a beautiful salad. <clears throat> if you like this video about my arrival to Williams, Arizona and the campground I'm staying at and where Snickers and I went to dinner, give me a thumbs up. Stay crafty smart. Stay tuned for my tour of Sedona and you will hear. I got an email this morning from Arizona State Parks saying that the park that I was going to go to tomorrow has been closed.